pathway classical pathway was discovered first hence it is named as the classical pathway the class here you can see that there is a microbe which is having some surface antigens to which the antibody got attached and do you know that only two classes of antibodies act in complement system and not all the immunoglobulins only g classes of immunoglobulins and the m classes of immunoglobulin acts in the compl complement system here you can see i have written so when this immunoglobulin binds to the antigen that is the surface receptor of the microbe then the classical pathway comes into play now i will explain only the classical pathway in this video you can see a flow chart that is first it is written antigen plus antibody which means i have shown you in the diagram that the antigen is bounded by the antibody and these are only the immunoglobulin g and immunoglobulin m and when the antigen antibody complex is formed then this antigen antibody complex will activate the c1 the first c1 is the first component which is activated and this component has three part q r and s and out of this three part q r and s only the q component q part bind to the antigen antibody complex as soon as the q component bind to antigen antibody complex you can see antigen antibody complex and complement 1 q r s the q component have bounded to this antibody antigen antibody complex and this q component will result in activation of r and s component and that will in turn activate the complement 4 so to remember the sequence that is c1 then c4 then c2 then c3 i will give you a, an idea later on first you see the process how it occurs and you should remember that in presence of calcium only c1 get activated if there is deficiency of calcium this implies that our complement system will not act properly in our body and this is very much important system to eliminate the foreign particles now this antigen antibody complex along with the c1 component will activate the c4 component of the complement system and this c4 component will be broken down into two parts one is heavier part and another is lighter part the heavier part that is c4 b part a part is lighter a comes first so a part is lighter you can remember like way and b part is heavier so the lighter part will go in the circulation because it is lighter so it will move freely in the circulation but what about the heavier part this heavier part will remain attached to the antigen antibody and the c1 complement which are already being complexed together after that as the heavier part that is c4b part get attached to the antigen antibody complex in presence of magnesium ions this will activate the complement 2 and this c2 will also get broken down like as like the c4 had been broken this c2 will get broken down into c2a and c2b and this is the only exception that the b part is heavier and as you will go further then you will see that all the a part 
is lighter and b part is heavier except the c2 component except c2 component c2 b component all the b component are heavier here as the c2 b component is lighter it will move freely in the circulation and it has a kinin like activity and increases vascular permeability so c2 b will go away like the c4a has gone away so c2 b will go away and c2 a will remain attached with the complex and hence the complex now we will get is now antigen antibody is already there now the main thing we have to emphasize is that c4b and 2a we got the c4b as the heavier and c2 as as a as the heavier when the complements are activated we write them as a bar we give a bar above them which means they have been activated and whenever they are not activated we write as small i for example small i c 3b which means that c 3b is inactivated here the c 3 convertase means this is an important enzyme which means c 4b 2a acts as an enzyme c 4b 2a is an enzyme which is which has been named as c 3 convertase and this name only suggests that this complex will convert the c3 complement so c4b2a complex will convert the c3 complement into c3a and c3b so you must remember that c4b2a is the c3 convertase enzyme now this again i had told earlier that all the b part is heavier except the c2a so here C3B is heavier but C3A is lighter so B part is heavier so it will get attached to the complex and C3A which is lighter it will go away it will move freely and it will act as an chemotactic and anaphylatoxic properties now this C3B will get attached to the C3 convertase and the enzyme now will be named as c5 convertase as because this enzyme will now convert the c5 complement now this c5 complement will be broken down into c5a and c5b and like the c4 and c3 this c5 will also be converted into c5a and c5b c5a is lighter c5b is heavier now how can you remember that which will come first and which will come last first one come first so complement one has been broken has been activated first then after c1 there is c4 then c2 c3 c5 so you can remember that instead of c2 c4 have come first so after c1 there is c4 and all the sequences are maintained except that instead of c2 c4 have come first these have been named according to their uh, discovery hence the and hence they c4 has been discovered earlier discovered later c2 has been discovered earlier so c2 has been named as c2 and c4 as later but c4 has been activated first later on scientists came to know that c4 will get activated first than that of c2 so after at the la uh, you can remember that c1 then c4 then c2 then c3 then c5 it's very much easy if you can understand just once so up to c5 convertase then c5 convertase will convert c5 into a lighter part and a heavier part then this heavier part will attract the later components that is c6 c7 c8 and c9 
this together will form a membrane attack complex c5 b 6 to 9 they will form a membrane attack complex and this complex will make pore if this is a cell of the bacteria and they will helps in formation of the pore large pore of about 100 angstrom which will allow all the fluids to enter inside the bacterial cell and results in the lysis of the bacterial cells thus they helps in removal of bacteria from our body i mean microbe thank you